hello good afternoon everyone so in this video i am going to explain regarding the genesis software using the genesis software how can we design a band pass filter and uh, how can we import the layout into the ADS software and how we can do the EM, uh, EM layout simulation from the ADS software from starting with the genesis so once you open the genesis you can see the passive control window so i have selected the band pass filter so there are five various uh, structures where we can select step uh, impedance and couple edge couple hairpin and comb line filters so i've gone to the hairpin filter so when you go to the settings palette you can uh, vary the various parameters like passband ripple uh, attenuation at cutoff frequency order of the filter lower cutoff frequency higher cutoff frequency so these are the various parameters where you can change and according to your skirt according to your required s11 and s21 you can change the variations so i have uh, selected around 14 to 15 gigahertz of the frequency um, so i've just uh, kept around so it is not uh, being skeptical so once you can see the uh, skirt from the 14 to 15 you know, there's a skirt uh, you can see so s11 and s21 uh, you can see over there so after the um, skirt when you uh, look into the skirt then you have an options palette then uh, selecting the micro strip uh, uh, substrate so click on the micro strip inverter and you can give your uh, substrate height as 0.254 which is around 10 mil so i have select i'm going to select what the required substrate so uh, uh, i'll choose the rogers 5880 substrate uh, of uh, 10 mil so I have selected the Roger substrate of 10 mil and you can see immediately our schematic has been updated to microstrip transmission lines so it has been updated and once you can see the schematic over there so the skirt is also changed a little bit so if you select uh, based on the filter it, it varies a lot and uh, uh, if you click on the optimize it tries to optimize the filter as uh, better as possible so it's going to take a uh, long time so i'll skip that part and it's better to optimize the filter once you finish all the parameters so once you have done with the optimization and uh, you can create a layout and you can see the s11 plot and s21 plot ensure that s11 is as good as possible so because uh, when you go for the EM simulation and the um, next uh, simulations so the S11 would uh, create in the bad way so if you uh, click on the create a layout and uh, automatically the layout has been uh, created in the new window of uh, layout so once you have uh, created a layout select all and go to the layout and click on the connected all parts so once you have seen that so whatever the connected parts are there that has been connected with the dots and double click on the layer window and once you form find the all the layers click on the em window and select the top metal and click on the ok such that all the metals are considered in the em layout so it is easy when you try to export it into the gerber file so all the dxf file whatever is uh, necessary for you so and you can also perform the momentum analysis over here and if you want to compare the layout analysis the momentum analysis and you can do that you can uh, click on the uh, start and stop frequencies uh, add what type of uh, simulation you want to be well, it's linear adaptive and simulation options and mesh so currently i'm not focusing on that so i'll try to explain how can you export that layout file uh, now so click on the export option you can go to the gerber file and you can select the gerber and then click on ok you can browse your file wherever you want to browse so once you have browsed your file you can create a new folder or wherever you want to um, create is and save your uh, gerber files so i am trying to save in a new folder so i have tried uh, i have saved a gerber file automatically the gerber file is uh, opened into it now i am going to the ads file uh, so ensure that whatever the uh, layout uh, pcb layout you have chosen 
will be the same uh, topology if you are trying to save it in the mil standards try to create a pcb layout in the mil standard if you are trying to save it in mm so try to create a workspace of a pcb in mm so i have created in the mm so so the design is also saved in the mm standard so i have created a new layout hairpin now i am going to import the gerber file going on to clicking on import gerber file and browse option and you can go to the gerber wherever i have saved and so i have selected all the layers and uh, i have click on the cell name which i have created the layout hairpin design and layout and uh, library name then the import has been done if you go to the hairpin notice cell layout uh, once you maximize you can see the hairpin uh, uh, structure is formed over there so you guys you can see the hairpin structure is formed now you can zoom it and once you see there the structure is on the top metal drawing but actually it has to be drawing uh, structure cond uh, uh, conductive layer structure as the top metal so so when you want to simulate it has to be conductor layer so i'm trying to change those all so I click on select all and put on the conduction so then everything is being changed to conductor layer now you can uh, uh, add the ports before adding the ports there are em ports uh, before from the gerber file so those all uh, ports are also con considered as the uh, conductive uh, layer so conductive structure so you need to delete all those things so there are two as a structure also that has also been uh, saved as a conductor so so before that i'm trying to delete all the uh, unnecessary uh, parts which are there on the layout so uh, if uh, I would recommend the genesis part if your uh, FWB is high uh, if the FWB is uh, uh, low uh, I think you there is a large requirement for your tuning so uh, I think the EM results would um, uh, not so be uh, matched when you go for the high uh, uh, low FWB and I think it is better if you wanted to have a uh, low e FWB start with the basics of uh, 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 G parameter G values and go with the uh, you have to do your own uh, theoretical analysis which type of filter is better and what type of order is better it's better to start from the uh, basics for the uh, low FWB so I'm trying to add the ports over here so I've added the port 1 and I've added the port 2 so once you added the port 2 and the structure is formed em layout is formed now you can set up the em setup so uh, i'm currently not uh, doing any boundary conditions or i'm not making any finite boundary so i'll just go to the em setup and there's no substrate over there i'm trying to create a new substrate 25 aluminia or i'll try to change it over there in the next one so it's aluminia there's no one so click on the three dots you'll find uh, uh, like I am trying to remove the dielectric, add dielectric from the database. So as uh, we selected the R Rogers 588, RTD Ride 5880. So I have selected the uh, same material and click on OK. I will change that uh, thickness of the material 20 mil. And it is important to change the material, please to do it carefully. And uh, once you can see the Rogers RTD Ride uh, 5880 as 20 mil. Put the conductor layers as 70 micron it's up to your scale uh, as the uh, conductor layer and cover layer as 70 micron and you can save that uh, pcb structure and go to the ports if your uh, ports are assigned you can uh, set up the simulation type what type of simulation you wanted to do whether it's adaptive linear or uh, different types so um, according to your simulation type you can set it up and number of endpoints so once you have done with the setting up your frequency plan or simulation click on the simulate and it requires a little time and once you have uh, look into the plots s11 and s21 so i did not get the better plots because of the frequency which is high scale and uh, the hairpin filter i took as a lower order so so you have to do the tuning as i said earlier if the fwb is so less uh, it is going to be a problem for you so it's better to have a larger fwb and um, see the 
uh, spot frequency is around 15.24 so at 15.24 the insertion loss is very bad so you have to do the tuning over there so um, this is a process i'm trying to explain how can you do from the genesis to the nds and then uh, perform the em simulation and uh, how it can view the results so you can also view the 3d uh, 3d view of our uh, 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 couple filter uh, via uh, the em layer or the rf pro so whatever if you have the rf pro it is better and uh, once you click on the rf pro uh, window you can directly go into the rf pro so once you close this and uh, you will find rf pro over there if you don't find and uh, you could go to the uh, right click on the toolbar you will find the rf pro over there also so once you have opened the rf pro you can find the uh, 3d structure over there and uh, so once you click on the dielectric solid you can find the substrate and you can see how is the 3d structure form and once you have uh, for seen the 3d structure you can insert your pins uh, into the full em analysis and uh, you can uh, create your uh, options uh, create your options that means whatever the simulation types you want what is the uh, um, type of simulation required for you whether it's linear or adaptive I'm trying to add the ports over here and uh, now changing the uh, start and stop frequency for the simulations. Now I'm keeping it as 13 uh, gigahertz. To so I'll put it as the 18 gigahertz. Now, so there are bits of because of its adapter, it did not come any. So mesh, den and, uh, mesh density I've kept it as uh, 20. So it's better if you can uh, put it as high as possible. So it's as fast. So now you can go to the results, click on S parameters, and once you click on the S parameters, you can see whether S11 plots or S21 plots. So you can view the S11 plots, which are more or less similar. I think there is a slight variation because uh, we got around minus 14 in the EM layout, and here we are getting around minus 10 point change. So, so there's a slight variation. So once, so I'm trying to see what, uh, how much did the difference come. So it's around minus 22 for 15.24 and so it's around uh, minus 11. So when it comes to S21, there's no proper S21 graph. So I think we got, uh, mm, I think the graph we did not come mm, properly only, but uh, but the standard way of looking into the S21 and S11 is the same uh, procedure. Once you have done all these methods of uh, creating the uh, dielectric uh, constant, create, taking the substrate. So if the written loss uh, is not proper, you should focus on the spacing or the uh, impedance matching for the circuit. So these are the basic things and I would I think you have understood what is the procedure you can generate or you can do the filter easily via Genesis. So the thing is you need to have the basics understandable how is the filter formed and how can you design a filter what are the variations to be done if you want the exact results. So this is up to me if you have any doubts please ping in the comment section and if you want the better written laws then go for the lower order. So these are the changes to be done as everyone knows. Thank you guys.